Uh, another uh, question that came up in the class that I taught today was, uh, how do you make your own um, functions in Microsoft uh, Excel? And we can actually do that with a macro. Uh, so let's say column O are current dates. And I want to see uh, five years from that date. And I want to have my own function to do that. So in this case, notice how I have the developer menu open. And it'll make this process a little bit easier. Uh, if you don't have the developer menu there on your screen, let me show you how to put that on there. I'll pick on the file menu and then options. Under options, you pick where it says customize ribbon. And then over here, make sure that the word developer is checked. It's kind of interesting when you first install Excel, the developer menu is not checked. So go into um, the options, pick on customize ribbon and make sure that the word developer is checked there. And that'll turn on the additional menu that we're going to use here. And you can see it's called developer. So I want to pick on developer. And what you do is you go into view code. Now, um, just to make sure that this is going to work properly, I, I always like to add a module. So I'm going to say insert uh, a module. Now, after you insert a module, now you're going to insert the function. So you're going to say insert procedure. Now make sure you call it a function because that's what, it, you know, it's going to be a built in function in Excel. And let's say I'm going to call this one uh, five years, five years out. So you want to give it a good name. Uh, I'll make it a function, put it on the public so that the whole workbook can use it. And as long as uh, that workbook is open, really other workbooks can get to that function as well when it's public. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And then notice how it started to give you the framework of, of the function here. Now, uh, I need to pass a number to this function. So in order to indicate that, you're going to put something in the parentheses. I'll call this one a date one. So in other words, I'm going to pass a date to this function. Now, you know, this function is going to be very, very simple. Um, but, you know, you can do a lot of, you can do just about anything within this function. You can make it very long, but this is going to be really simple. Um, so I'm going to type in the same exact name as the name of the function here. And that's going to be the value that we return. So however many that you, uh, lines that you have, probably the last line of the function is going to be um, a, the name of the function itself. And then you assign that to a value. And that's what's going to return back. So I'm going to say date one, in other words, the date that was passed, plus let's say five uh, times uh, 365, which is really going to be the number of days in a year. And then, of course, you can accommodate for leap year if you wanted to. Um, but uh, in fact, let's even do that. So I'll take um, the integer of um, five times 365.25 and then that'll accommodate for the leap year and I'm taking the integer of that All right so uh, this is going to uh, we're going to pass the function a date and it's going to return that date plus now this is going to be the number of days in five years uh, and so I say int open parentheses five times 365.25 and that'll be the number of days uh, in five years. I'm going to add that to the date. So I'm going to close this window now. That function is now available for you. So I'm going to say equals and I'll start to type it in and notice how it's there. It says five years out. And then I'm going to pass it the date that's in 01 and I'll close my parentheses and you can see it really recognizes that function. Now, um, this might be confusing. It, it came back as a number. Well, I'm going to make sure that column P is formatted as a date. So I'll pick on home and uh, for the number format, I'll say short date and you can see it did come out as a date. Here it says July 1st of 2014, and it returned back to me July 1st of 2019. That looks like it's five years uh, out to me. So then I'll copy that down to the rest of the uh, column. Now I see that some of those have pound signs, so of course we have to make this uh, bigger. 
And now if I look at these dates in column P, it's really five years out from the, um, the date in column, um, in uh, column O. So um, that's how we can build our own function in Microsoft Excel. It actually shows up even when you do FX. Uh, it shows up in a category that's called user defined. And you can see the, you know, there it is. Here's how we did that. Uh, I'm going to pick on the developer menu. You pick on view code. Now you can probably use one of the modules that are there. But, uh, you know, in this case, I added a new module. So I said insert module. And then from there, I said insert procedure. Make sure that it's a function. And maybe I'll call this one two years out. Now, it doesn't like that I start that with the number two. So I'll type in the word two. And then I'll click on OK. And then you have the framework of your function. So in this case, if you wanted to pass it a you know, uh, a, a, a variable or more than one variable. I'll type in date one here. Now, like I said, this could be very, very long, but the end, at the end of the function, you're gonna type in the name of the function. So that's gonna, what, that's gonna be what's gonna return from the func uh, function. And I'll say two years out equals date one plus the int of 365.5 Point two five times two. All right, and then you know, um, make sure that, like I said, the last thing in your function has the same function name as what you have up here, and that's how it's going to return a value back. Otherwise, I could have had many, many lines before that line there. So I'm going to close that window, and now you'll see I have uh, equals uh, two. There it is, two years out. And it's really working like any function uh, that Excel comes with. I'll copy that down and we'll format that whole column as a date. But that's really how you can make up your own functions in uh, Microsoft Excel.